Hello, it's Ben again with the DIY Homefront. And today I've got a shelf inside of one of the cabinets in my garage that just keeps falling down. So, let's get into this. Well, there's the cabinet, and I made two of them years ago. They're four feet wide and roughly two feet deep, trying to make the most use out of the plywood materials that I had bought to build it. It's all made out of half inch. So the cabinet has three shelves and on the top shelf I've got all my paint and they're stored on three Lazy Susans and it's just too much weight for the shelf. The weight gets on it and it just wants to work its way out and pop out. When I built the shelves they were awful tight. There was not much space underneath but I believe what has happened is over the years the plywood has warped a little bit out and this small wooden strip that I had put here isn't enough to hold it from bowing out. I thought having a sheet of half inch plywood as a door with four hinges on it would be enough. Maybe if I had put five, I don't know. These are the other two paint turntables that I took out so we could work on the shelf. This is what I'm going to do. This represents the plywood wall. And we've got a hole drilled in it and we've got a bracket and then we've got our plywood shelf. I'm going to take a piece of wood and put it right here and take some screws and screw into this wood from the outside. This side is always up against the wall so you're never going to see the three screws I put into it and since the shelf has a piece of plywood that's been nailed to the front you're never going to see what's going on behind it. I have a bunch of spacers that I use when I'm cutting my own wood to put between boards to allow air circulation and these are some of those and I'm going to use one of these types of wood for that shelf and I just wanted to show you the ends because you need to be careful what you choose. Can you see the grain of that wood? If I put a screw in it this way I'm going to split that wood. And that's not going to hold anything up. If you drill a hole in it about the same width. Now you can put the screw in it and it's not going to split. I'll use this drill bit because it's about the same size as a screw, but it lets the threads grab the wood. I will take the block of wood that's going to be my brace and put it flush up against the bottom of the shelf. Then I can mark it. Then I'll put three dots where I need to drill holes through the cabinet wall. I will take my time while drilling these three holes so that way when the drill bit goes through the shelf wall it won't push out any of the wood on the other side. And when she drills through the cabinet holes it will leave a mark on what will become my shelf brace and I can drill pilot holes for my screws in that shelf brace. I just want to make sure the camera got it. Okay I'm ready for the first hole. Next hole. Next hole. Now I can use these marks to drill the pilot holes for the screws. This could be a one person job, but you would have to take the cabinet door off to make it a one person job. So I'm going to enlist my wife's help for a little bit longer. And one of us will hold the brace on the inside of the cabinet and the other person will screw the screws in from the outside of the cabinet. So I've got the three screws in their holes but I'm going to take the middle screw and drive it all the way in and I'll use that from the inside as my starter. Okay, ready? Yep, that's good. Now do you want to go to the first screw hole? Closest to, me. to the garage door, yes. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, you can take the first one and screw it all the way in. Ready? Yep. Again, go to the middle one. Ready? Yep. Go. Keep going. Go to the very first one again. Okay, middle one. And then the end. Now that is not going to go anywhere. And you can see, relatively speaking, the screws are not noticeable. They're flush. I'm putting these on the top shelf like I'm part of a Monty Python skit. Nothing to see here, nothing at all. As the world comes crashing down. And those are Lazy Susans. And I did a little bit extra to them. But it makes it real easy because now I can get to any different thing that's on that top shelf just by turning them. Murphy's Law says the other side will fall down now. But we'll fix that when that happens. Well, I told you that one wouldn't be long. The most important thing was making sure that we put the wood the right direction so we didn't split it when we used it as a brace. Well, until the next video, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in that next video. And don't forget to check out those playlists.